Welcome to the instructional lesson on Of Plymouth Plantation by William Bradford. As you progress through this lesson in your Canvas modules, you'll notice a few things. First of all, this is going to start out with the quiz. The quiz on American literary movements takes place um, based on the information that you learned in that module. We talked about it in class, and now you're ready to take the quiz. We're going to bridge the gap historically between the Native Americans and where we are now because there are a few hundred years. And you're going to start out with um, a crash course video that you will take C notes on. This is just a short video, but it's a really good summary of what we're missing. We're going to move then into the Age of Faith. So this is that first part of the Enlightenment period, and you are looking at the text of Plymouth Plantation. Once we're in class, I will give you the Nearpod pen and expiration date. You know that all Nearpod pens are good for seven days. This Nearpod has your quiz in it for your skills. The skills for Plymouth Plantation are to look at how you break down a complex sentence and then author's purpose and point of view. So once you take the author's purpose and point of view quiz, if you pass at 80%, you do not have to do those lessons. You'll then do of Plymouth Plantation excerpts. I'll have some of these on paper for you in class if you're interested in doing it in paper. And then your closure will be the Plymouth Literary Analysis Process, JRC. And then, of course, finally, the last thing that you'll do is going to be to take a reading <coughs> quiz. As you progress through this lesson, there are a variety of reading informational text standards that we're going to look at. We're going to look at citing text evidence to support analysis and inference. You're going to track the idea throughout the text as it changes. You're going to determine word meanings from unknown words. And then you're going to look at the point of view in text with effective rhetoric. Based on the segment of the lesson that you're in, you will have a specific objective. So through the study of an excerpt from of Plymouth Plantation, you will be able to, first of all, determine point of view. Then you will evaluate narrator credibility. Then you will identify author's purpose and provide evidence to justify the claim. Just as other lessons, you will have your task agenda. You're looking at the literary skills review. Then we're going to do the American Experience video notes. Uh, we're going to look at the story and vocabulary preview. And then you'll do a close reading of From Plymouth Plantation with those excerpts and breaking down the complex text. At the close, we're going to have a discussion of the reading, and then you will have a constructed response to do. By now, I know that you know what our routine is, but just in case, you're going to start out by taking your skills test. This time, your skills test is built into your Nearpod, and that's done intentionally so that you can verify with your teacher what your score is, and then so that you can make sure you're submitting that score back through Canvas so that you can pass on to the next assignment. Since it's in Nearpod, you can't see your score without the teacher's input, and that's why I did it that way for this lesson. Now, let's just assume that I've passed my skills test. I'm going to move straight into my lesson prep based on that skills test score. I've mastered it, so I don't need to do it. If I do not master it, and remember with this one, we're looking at 8 out of 10, then I need to do the notes. Once you do the notes, you will have that JRC, and then you're going to go back up to the lesson prep my model, and our text-dependent questions for this lesson. If you have any questions about the lesson or what you're expected to do at any time, please feel free to ask your teacher. You may also use the back channel conversation that we've created on our modules, or you can send an email.